welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know, I know, I know, I know I've been gone for so long and I am trying to think about how I want to make a video just kind of like explaining things but like not explaining things. I want to turn the series of events that have taken place into my life into like story times because I think they would be great here on my channel. But you guys know how my story times are and they tend to be a little on the ratchet side. So I don't know that I want to do that quite yet because I don't know. I just, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it would be kind of rude of me, I guess, to do that. So I'm just kind of holding out and waiting to see how things play out before I go ahead and tell you guys. But do know that a little bit of the reasoning behind me being gone is my fault because I chose to make other things a priority over YouTube. But at the end of the day, I love making YouTube videos and providing content for you guys. And seeing the comments that people would leave on my channel even though I hadn't been on in a while it really really made me feel good and it really made me feel like getting a schedule together so over the next week I will be creating a filming schedule and if I know I'm gonna be gone I'm gonna start trying to pre-film and there's my first favorite for you guys but I definitely want to make sure that I'm being true and letting you guys know what's going on in my life. Okay, we're going to show you, little man. Okay, my first favorite is this little shishka baby. Say hi. Say hi. He's going to bite me. Don't bite. This is Rain. He is a chocolate lab, and he is three months old. Can you say I'm three months old? He's just being a spaz, but... He literally has made me be able to get through so much right now and I don't want to say I just went and bought a dog to fix my issues but um, I've just been having a lot of like personal stuff go on in my life since getting back from deployment that really made me just feel kind of purposeless and nobody should, nobody should ever feel that way. I got rain and we are attending classes so hopefully he will get his shit together and will be able to go with me pretty much everywhere but it has seriously helped me so much and I'm sure at some point there will be a video on my channel about all that stuff but yeah I love him he's so cute and his name is R-E-I-G-N not like rain from the sky but like rain like king rain if you follow me on snapchat you already know. Stop bobbing about that and get on to the favorites. So, the first thing that I want to show you, I might have shown in my last favorites, but it is a shampoo and conditioner. I'm sorry, Rain's like biting my feet. So, I have been obsessing over the Diva Curl or Deva Curl, however you spell it, but I just purchased this for the first time and it's the One Decadent. So, basically, they, they color coordinate it. So the top of the bottles actually shows you like what the product is catering to. Um, they didn't have the one that I usually use is like this lime green color. So I had to get this one and I can say that I'm literally like not upset about having to get this one at all. My hair is pretty curly. This is day two. Um, but the longer my hair gets, the more the curl is pulled down. So these bottles actually are ultra moisturizing milk conditioner and then the no, no poo decadence. So the main thing about the Diva Curl line is to remember that it's not really shampoo. It doesn't lather so you can kind of tell that it's not like a shampoo. I have noticed so much growth. I mean my hair is all the way down to here. I just, I have to do an updated hair video because my hair has grown so much since committing to these products and they do cost quite a bit, but I feel like it's totally worth it. Since we're in the realm of shower stuff, I just wanted to, what's she doing girl? Um, I just wanted to show you guys these Victoria's Secret products that I got for my birthday. This is the lotion and this is the body mist. I love using body mist when I get out of the shower and I do use lotion every single day. So I use this lotion when I have shaved any part of my body. This is what I use. Um, and it's, the scent is called Hypnotized. Hypnotized. Yeah, that's how you say it. So <laughs> Hypnotized, it smells gorge. I recommend this. It just, I don't know how to 
It's just freaking, it smells so good. I do have another lotion that I use on the days that I have not shaved. And that is the Nivea Essentially Enriched uh, Body Lotion. And this says it's almond oil, noticeably smoother skin, dry to very dry skin. So this is actually, I found out about this product from Makeup Shayla. If you look at that girl, she is just like glowing for the gods at all times and if I know I'm gonna have like the chesticles out or like if I know that any part of my skin is showing and I want it to just be gleaming I recommend this this stuff is like here I'll just show you so here's my hand and it does have a lock on it so if you travel you don't have to necessarily like worry about it leaking can you see that? It just made my skin like shine. You can see it like shining. It just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a very natural glow too. There's no like glitter in it or anything. It's like your body's just smoother than a baby's bottom. Moving on to like makeup products. I have been obsessed with these false lashes. These are kind of a step up from the Ardell Demi Wispies, which I have on now. Um, but the Samantha number no. sevens, these are from Huda Huda Beauty. I don't know. I've seen it on Instagram so much. And I saw these in Sephora, actually. They have like a whole stand now that says like popular, it's like popular products that I guess people see them on Instagram and stuff so now Sephora just sells like a little bit each so they have two different numbers to pick from but the number sevens are like a glammed up version of the Demi Wispies so next time I go back I'm getting another set because these are bomb. Now I also been ha have been obsessing over the Morphe Elite Collection brushes um, but these are like they're freaking heaven and these were cheaper than like any pr any brushes that I buy in store. Like Eco Tools and um, Real Techniques, they were cheaper than that. I I bought them when they were having a 50% off sale. So if you ever see Morphe brushes, like just know that this line is bomb. And I actually found out about this from one of my friends, Shelly. She was the one who told me about it. Her channel on here is the Curl Lioness. So I'm gonna link her in the bottom bar so you can go check it out. But she put me on, and these are. Fire. Okay, so I have like a million Anastasia Beverly Hills products to show you that I'm just obsessed with. The first one is the Modern Renaissance Palette. I know everybody's obsessing over this, but we like don't have anywhere that really sells her stuff. And I went into an Ulta in Missouri and they actually had it. So I was like, mm, I'm getting you. I have been just obsessing. Okay, I've just been obsessing over this palette and I've been wearing it literally every day and I feel like you can glam it up or don't glam it up and just wear it for every day but I'm wearing it right now and I I just every tutorial that I see with this palette is fire so it's the perfect colors for fall and I think that they're gorgeous and now I know to buy Anastasia eyeshadows because these far outdo like MAC eyeshadows and I have a crap ton of those and these are the best that I've had out of everything. Even like Urban Decay, Anastasia, you go girl, because these are bomb. On top of those being fire, I have been obsessing over her glow kits. I have these two because these were all that my Ulta had. I think I actually bought one of them at Sephora, but the one is sun dipped and the other one is that glow. Sun dipped, I feel like I'm not going to be able to use this one when I'm lighter uh, I just feel like it goes really good right now since I'm a little bit tan I haven't been outside that much but I feel like the that glow kit is like perfect for people with my skin tone the next two things I might have shown before but they are the Too Faced melted matte lipsticks I am obsessed uh, with these I'm right now I'm wearing the Kylie Jenner lipsticks and I can honestly say that those are like so effing disappointing to me like they're just so disappointing like when I did go to the Drake concert I was so disappointed in the outcome like when I got home I was just embarrassed by what my face looked like because of the damn lipstick but these ones do not run they don't do anything crazy and once they're on 
they are on until you take them off and you don't even have to use a lip liner so if you're gonna get liquid matte lipsticks I highly I highly recommend any of the Too Faced uh, melted matte yeah melted matte lipsticks I have them in the color Who's Zoom and Who and Naughty by Nature. The first one is I have been trying to finish up American Sniper. So this book is based off of the true story of Chris Kyle. It is a major motion picture. I'm sure many of you guys have seen it. If you haven't, I recommend going to see it. But I honestly recommend the book over the movie because there is so much stuff that happens in the book that did not happen in the movie. And... I watched the movie first and then started reading this book so I basically started reading it when I was uh, deployed I think and then just my life's been crazy and I just haven't had the time so I started finishing it up and I just I would read this book over and over but I also am in the military so I feel like I favor anything military related but it is a very good book if you guys are looking for a good read. The last thing I wanted to tell you guys is I am wearing my concert shirt from the Future and Drake concert. Woo, woo. That was literally the highlight of my life so far. Um, I'm not, I'm not like a money spender on stuff like that. Uh, this is the most money that I have ever spent on something like this and by something like this I mean like I don't be going to concerts at all like ever and me and my friend were like I'm turning 25 on the 25th of July so it was my golden year and I was like I gotta do a big like I gotta do something that makes me remember like on my 25th birthday I did this so we bought tickets uh in the fifth row that was as close as we could get and because this concert sold out drake concert in kansas city was sold out in literally three hours uh i waited up and got on there and bought our tickets fifth row was as close as we could get we went backstage and got to see future drake canceled his backstage like everything for some reason i really don't know why um, and then we also got like this bag of memorabilia, which was pretty awesome. And this shirt was one of them. Uh, it was just literally like the greatest experience ever. Every bad thing that I was going through at the time just was totally and completely irrelevant. Uh, and it was just awesome. I, I was able to put aside like my whole life to go have six hours of the most fun that I have ever had. So... I really enjoyed it and I'm glad that I spent it with someone that means a lot to me in life. Means a lot as in a friend, not a guy, so just so we're clear. And me and her like lived it up. Uh, I did have everything on Snapchat and I, I saved all the videos and I want to make a video of, of the whole experience for you guys to see. So it was pretty awesome. And other than that, that is all of my favorites for the month like I don't have anything else whatever videos you guys want to see please leave them in the bottom or a lot of content is going to be coming to my channel I cannot wait so yeah I guess I will talk to you guys soon thank you so much for always sticking by my side and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys